Hello everybody, this is Spiritual Key, we're back with another reading and we're going to talk about Natina, okay, Natina Reed. Um, she was in a group called Black, um, for those who don't know uh, her in the group called Black, she was the rapper, it was a three girl group, like TLC, three girl group, and she was the rapper, and she was also Left Eye's protege, she also helped write for TLC at the time. And she is a writer and a rapper. She can sing a little bit. Um, she was engaged to the rapper Corrupt. I love Corrupt. I was watching his interview on the Breakfast Club. I love Corrupt. He's really funny. Um, he's an LA rap, a California rapper. Um, he's under Snoop Dogg, for those who didn't know that. They also were engaged and they also had a child together. They have a little boy, they have a son. He is so handsome. Um, and also, she did start in Bring It On with Gabrielle Union. For those who don't know, the group Black, Oh, baby, bring it on to me. That's my song. And that song she had Crow. It's over. It's my turn now. It's over. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so anyways. Um, she passed away due to a car incident. She got struck by a car. Um, I... I think the story goes that the driver tried to do CPR to revive her, but he couldn't bring her uh, back. And supposedly he was in charge. Okay, and she is a Scorpio. So right now let's talk about, let me see, how is she feeling? Oh, and also a disclaimer. Make sure that you ask for permission to continue to pull on people's energies because some spirits don't want to be bothered. Some are actually drained due to other people pulling on their energy, especially when they don't ask and they just do and pull cars and upload videos and stuff like that instead of asking them if it's okay. Because obviously a lot of Michael Jackson and Prince videos and a lot of Dipsy Hustles and Kobe Bryant's, I'm just thinking to myself, did they even really give y'all permission? Because, you know, if they were private in their life, well, but you know, that's not my business. That's, mm. But that's just me. I, I'm not pulling nobody's energy when they say, not right now, not this time. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to continue to do it. I'm not going to be like, well, you know, well, I'm just going to put it out for content. We're not going to do that. And I pulled on her energy and she said, I can continue to pull on her energy and I can do this video and I'm going to be very respectful. We're gonna, I'm gonna let her be able to speak her mind and say what she wants to be able to say. And I'm gonna put it out there, but other than that, we're gonna keep it really nice and respectful. Um, we're also gonna talk about left eye. I'm not gonna pull her energy. I'm just gonna um, ask um, how she felt when everything happened. And also knowing that she has a son, I would like to you know deliver a message so she can say how she feels. Okay, so how are you feeling? Okay. And I did mention that she was a Scorpio. So, just in case if I didn't mention it, I'm going to mention it again. Okay, we have the Three of Staffs in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Staffs in reverse. Okay, so Staffs or Wands, depending on which tarot deck you have, represent the Fire Signs and the Zodiac Sign, and also represent how passionate we are. And then we have Swords. Swords represent the Air Signs and the Zodiac Sign, and represent how we deal with things mentally. And then we have Cups, represent the Water Signs and the Zodiac Sign, how we deal with things emotionally.
Okay, I'm gonna say this. When you're trying to start off, because I do know that they came out, okay, the first album that they came out with when she was in the group uh, Black, it did good. The second album, they had, they had a good single, it was charting, but the album didn't sell that well, and they had to, it sold more overseas, right? And next thing you know, it's just, you hear from them no more. Um, when you're trying to, how can I explain this? When you're, when you're in the industry and then you're putting yourself out there and then things don't go as planned as you would think they would and then you're trying to start off this new adventure and you're, you made it so far and then you, get stuck at this standstill and you have this setback and then now it goes to believing in yourself believing that you can go for it you can't and it, it's hard when your album doesn't do good and then it's like okay the record labels are looking at you and it's like well and you know that was back then when people get dropped like that or they were still signed, but they was just on the shelf collecting dust. Cause you know, record labels are doing that. They were holding people hostage in their in their uh, contracts, not letting them go, or whatever the case may be. But when this is what you're passionate about, this is what you love, and then you're at a standstill and things are not going your way, and then you're trying to put yourself first, and you're trying to show them why y'all should support me, and then you have people in your ear, right? And then you're hiding the truth of the matter. You're hiding, you're hiding truths from other people. Um, Cause the pay source can talk about, you know, not putting, not putting the money where your mouth is. And also talks about hiding, hiding truths, um, not speaking up, right? And then when you're not speaking up about how, you know, this is affecting you cause you know, Music is your was her is her bread and butter. Her writing her bread and brother, her bread and butter. And when you're not able to, you know, do that now, and they're kind of looking at you like, well, we really don't want you no more because you're not hot no more. You know, this is not working for us no more. And you're still, you know, going to awards or you know, still hanging out and you're putting on this facade to make it seem like, oh, no, I'm fine. No, I'm good. But the people who are close to you, they know. But the people who aren't close to you, that are, you know, um, just, what do you call them? People who you are just acquaintance with. Um, acquaintance with, maybe label mates, and you're not really close to them. They're not going to know everything that you're going through. And feeling like you can't do anything, you can't provide for yourself, and you can't um, support your family, especially when they're all, you know, <laughs> looking at looking at you like, oh. And it's a hard pill to swallow when you fall from grace, so to speak. Right when you're when you was on cloud nine, you're in movies, you know songs on billboards. You got your writing credits. You're a writer. You're writing songs that are popping that are on albums that sold millions upon millions. And it's crazy because when you looked at Left Eye being TLC and seeing her situation, and then for you to be in that exact situation to where, you know, you're not getting paid as much as you should have been getting paid, where's all the money really going, and everybody is in cahoots with each other, that's heartbreaking, which which is horrible, too, and I hate how people from back in the 90s and wasn't really getting all their money, and they're just due. And I'm glad TLC came out with that movie showing everything, and hopefully that helped people smarten up about their business.
Um, but other than that and just taking care of people, it is crazy how feeling underappreciated, you know? I made sure I took care of everybody, but then when it was my turn and people to help me out, it was crickets. Right? And, it, and that happens when a person is in the industry and they have a good run, they're helping out whoever they can help out, right? And then once, you know, they're not hot no more and the buzz dies down and they're trying to come back and their comeback isn't as strong as when they first came out. And now it's kind of like being, well, I'm going to say this. She did get comfortable. And, you know, I can't fault her for getting comfortable. Album out, charted, did great. Singles charted on billboards, doing great. I'm in this movie that grossed a lot of money, very popular. It did great. I got a fiance. He's in, he's in the entertainment bit. He's in the industry. He's popping. He's doing great. And then you get comfortable. Because it's like, huh, finally a breath of fresh air. I'm on top. I'm feeling good. I'm doing good. Money's rolling in. Then next thing you know, you hit this brick wall and you're at the standpoint. And as everybody... Can you imagine being on record label with other people and seeing them putting out their projects and them doing the center and them doing that and then, like, y'all are on the shelf collecting dust and everybody else is able to do what they want to do, but then you're trying to fight tooth and nail to do what you got to do to make sure you got income coming in. It causes problems. It causes problems. It causes fights. It causes confusion. It causes anger. Um, you drive people who you care about away from you. People, Some people don't want to be around you no more because you're in a state of depression. You're sad. Doing some, Getting to do something that you love and making money and profit off of something that you love and hard work is paying off just to have it being snatched from you under the rug. I'm a Capricorn. I don't like being comfortable. If I feel like I'm getting comfortable, something's wrong. That's how I feel. This is too good to be true. What's about to happen? What, what, what's about to go down? Because I don't Because I this is. Uh, okay. Because for me, I be feeling like never get too comfortable. Always make sure you have an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Yeah. Ooh, that would have been a fly ass song. But yeah, stuff like that. Like, And sometimes. It takes a toll on you, and then people don't want to be around you, especially. Um, well, we're going to talk about that. So, we're going to talk about left side, too. So, what caused her, because they said that she would engage in alcohol. So, I do want to figure out what made her engage into that and also maybe was it because she lost left eye and everything was just going downhill because left eye was probably giving her good advice and giving her work to be honest helping her out hey can you write this off for me i'm give you credit you make money off of this like when you lose somebody who had your bag in the industry and who was helping you with your bread and butter it's like what now and she probably did have writer's block. She probably didn't fit. She probably couldn't. Ooh, that's ooh. losing a friend like that. Mm -mm. And they have a song together. I saw that. That was real cute. And I like how in the music video, it was bitch. It was everything. Y'all need to go look that up. Her and Left Eye, bitch. When I tell you, when they was doing a little play fight, oh, bitch. It was giving me futuristic. Charlie Angels, like, <sighs> Foxy Brown, coffee type of vibes. I like it. I like that. That was, that was fire. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, okay, I'm going to see a respectful way to ask this. I'm going to ask her 
what is the advice to, that she can give people who are drinking and it's becoming very unhealthy? What's her advice for those who are doing that? Okay. Okay, I have the Two of Staffs, the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Cups in Reverse, the Knight of Cups in Reverse, and the Queen of Cups in Reverse. Um, staffs or Wands represent the Fire Signs, Zodiac Signs, how passionate we are. Swords represent the Air Signs and Zodiac Sign, how we deal with things mentally. We have Cups represents the Water Signs and how we deal with things emotionally. Okay, I'm going to say this. Make sure you have somebody that's in your corner that's going to tell you the truth. And it's going to let you know. Um, make sure you have somebody in your corner that's going to lead you the right way. And that's going to be some, like, people that are your crutches, your backbone that's going to help you. Okay? Because you had a Queen of Swords or two of Staffs. And the Queen of Swords, she's known to have a, when I say that that tongue is like a knife, very sharp, very upfront, and lets you know. I think of this like a military mom, a military woman that's gonna that's not gonna put up with the bullshit. Okay, one of those managers that don't care that you're crying. I'm sorry that you're. I'm sorry, but you fire. You want some tissue on your way out the door? Because what we're not gonna do is enable. You know, enable you. Find somebody that's not gonna enable you in your ways. It's gonna let you know that you need to put this down. That's not right. Because you're going down the wrong path. You're gonna repeat history. And um, if you do have people in your family that do suffer from that, um, try to be the one that breaks the chain. Try to care about self. Uh, and make sure that you are worried about self because the thing is sometimes people do drink to take away the stress and get out of their mind when it comes to responsibilities and other things like that. Right? I just need a drink just to ease this. Ooh, I'm so stressed. Ooh, let me get a glass of wine. Let me get this. And sometimes it does, it can go overboard. It can be unhealthy. It can be, first it was a glass, now it's two glasses, now it's three. Now it's just, you empty out the whole bottle. And now you're going to two bottles. Make sure that you're able to talk to somebody. And be yourself. Make sure that you have supportive people around you, not people that's going to enable you. Be like, oh, girl, it's okay. You know, she just drinks. It's okay. You know, it's always when you go out with people and you always got that one person. Because I remember one time I went out and it's always this one person. Oh, girl, that's just so-and-so. She just does that. She just does that. Bitch, what? No, that's unacceptable. And you're enabling that. Make it seem like, oh, it's okay because she just does that. No, if you're her friend and she acting the ass, she acting out of control. Because let me tell you something. When you go out, don't nobody want to be the babysitter. Let's be honest. Don't nobody want to be the babysitter when they go out to the club with their friends. Don't nobody want to be no babysitter and babysit drunk bitches all the time, especially belligerent ones and ones that always want to fucking fight. Bitch, no. Don't nobody want to do that. I know that's right. I don't. And I have before. And guess what? I never hung out with bitches like that ever again. Oh, bro, you want to go out? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You don't want to go out with us. You never hang out with us. Sure don't, bitch. Cause y'all need to figure out how to control y'all liquor. Cause don't I want to be around that bullshit all the time? Mm -mm. Trifling. Trifling. Okay. Y'all need to start telling y'all friends the truth and letting them know, hey, you drinking and do this and that third is hindering our friendship. And I don't like the person that you are becoming every time you drink. You need to start going to AA meetings, cleaning up. Let me help you out. Because sometimes people drink away their whole paycheck, and next you know they're either homeless or living in and out of hotels. And sometimes they can't even afford a hotel because they decided to buy a drink priorities. 
don't nobody really think about their priorities when they're on when they're sick so to speak right so how is her relationship with Lefa what does she want to share to Larissa about Lefa So we had a magician, the queen of coins in reverse, the emperor, the ace of coins in reverse, and then the five of swords. Okay. I, I'm going to say this. Definitely a person who gave out more than what she took back. And but what I mean by that is a person that's very sweet and nice, wears their heart on their sleeves, gives you, give you the shirt off their back, but it seems to be like when in return, it was nothing. People stealing, taking from you, um, using you, right? And that goes for people, that goes for friends, boyfriends, lovers, all that, right? Because if I'm giving you my own, I'm showing you, you, I'm showing you love, loyalty, I'm showing you different things and avenues, but it's funny how when you need me, you come around. But when you don't need me, you don't like. And she's and left eye gives me that she's very sensitive to energy, which is why I understand why she had to take that trip to Honduras. And she always said it's very spiritual for her. And I can understand and see that because when you are an empath or you're a healer, or if you're somebody who's very sensitive to energies, and then we have people around you taking your energy, or if you lose your way because you have. Can I say this? Sometimes, like for me, I know sometimes I do lose myself into my friends and I had to back away from that at times because if my friends upset about something, I'm gonna be just as mad and upset. But then once they're not mad about the situation no more, like for instance, if I have a friend who's been to me, and y'all gotta be careful people who emotionally drop on you, that's disgusting. Be aware of people who emotionally drop on people, that, that's a no-no. Um, when they do that, it's mostly draining. You're telling me about your boyfriend, and then next thing you know, I'm giving you advice, I'm letting you know, and then next thing you know, you turn around, I'll be back with them, but I'm still mad. You just emotionally dropped all that energy on me, and now I'm taking on that energy, and that's, yeah, that could really, mm -mm. so understand that she was very nice and she knew how and she knew how to manifest okay she knew how to make money left eye she knew she knew she knew what she had to do and what she needed to do and what she had and what she got to do okay whatever she could do to get her name out there you know how they say not all good news not all bad news is good news and not all good news is bad news whatever it was if it was news it was news it was out my name is out and it's in your mouth i got attention i'm gonna use that to do this and the third very strategic very nice and giving but too many people taking too many energies and taking too much of her time if i'm helping you and i'm allowing you to be in my space and i'm giving you advice and stuff like third but then when i need a favor in return it's always oh i'm gonna get back with you or you're busy it's always something and sometimes you get upset and then you start to blame others and then you're looking at everybody else like they fucked you over too or you're probably waiting for that person to fuck you over so you pretty much push that person away right now She's very grateful for left eye what she did for her. She was basically one of the persons who would help her out. But she just didn't like how people were using her. Right? And she wasn't getting nothing in return. And the labels bullying her and stuff like that. Seeing everything transpire, it's like, what the fuck? All right. So, closing this out with one more question. What's the message she wants to give to her son? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so we have these cards right here and my, whew, my battery about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Um, just know that whatever you want, you can be. She really believes in him and she believes whatever he wants to be, he can be it. And he needs to do what makes him happy. But however, he needs to ground himself and make sure the people are around him are grounded as well. And also, trust your intuition, okay? Your first thought that you have that comes through your head, that's your higher self. The second is ego. Never doubt yourself, and you are a very, very beautiful and creative person. Whatever you put your mind to, just know that you can do it. That's all she wants to know, that she's very encouraging. She's, this is very encouraging and loving energy, and very much I want to hold on to my baby boy and let him know that he can have anything he wants, that he can do anything that he wants, and that he got it, that he's very smart. She feels as though he's very, very smart, and he and he can make good decisions. She just wants him to be careful about certain people who's around him if they're not encouraging him and leading him to the right direction. But she trusts that, she trusts that you know, corrupt gossip. All right, that's the, that's the end of this reading. I'm out.